Oh my god. Talk about a marathon game. You think the Yankees were just playing the the Dodgers with Sandy Koufax and Jackie Robinson or the murderous row Yankees. And that was a five hour game against the Kansas City Royals. And the Yankees pulled it off. Yeah. <laughs> Eight to six. But from the seventh inning on, this is an eleventh inning game. Eleven inning game. Yankees would score, Royals would score. Yankees, Royals, Yankees, Royals, Yankees, Royals. And it kept going back and forth and back and forth. You know, Luke Voigt came up clutch, okay? And right now, and he's got a chip on his shoulder, to be honest, because he, he, I think he's at the mentality like, dude, you made a huge mistake by, you know, thinking I was washed up or, or kind of given up for me. And, and, and quite honestly, I'm of the opinion that if they were going to move Luke Voigt, it has to be for a frontline starting pitcher. You don't move a guy like Luke Voigt for a relief pitcher or somebody else like that. So... Um, I'm glad that he's here. I hope that they can figure out a way for him to play and Rizzo to play. Um, and have him either rotate in with first base or rot with Rizzo, rotate in with DH, with Stanton, so both guys can get a little bit of a break. But if there's a way we can get all three of them in the lineup with the other guys, Judge and Gio when he comes back, and, 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 and DJ if he keeps you know kind of going. He was clutch tonight too. Extra inning opposite field double to put the Yankees up again. But this, this was a, a pesky game, you know. And it also revealed a couple things. Like, you know, if you think that Aroldis Chapman should not be here, then that's that's a mistake, okay? Because Clay Holmes couldn't come through, couldn't close it out. And even though this is kind of his first kind of off outing, and he's relatively new here, but Britain couldn't hold a lead. Loisega couldn't hold a lead. Chad Green could not hold a lead. And he it seems like he doesn't even have an out pitch right now, Chad Green. So it, it's it was, you know, they need... Those guys, and they need Chapman. And, you know, they had to use a bunch of them. Wandy Peralta closed it out tonight. And thankfully he closed it out, but he still gave up a run. I was like, oh, my God, this is going to happen again. What the freaking hell? Um, Brett Garner got a clutch. Well, ground down. Unfortunately, the ground down, good that the Yankees scored two runs, but it came up and took a wicked hop and hit Lopez. And I think their shortstop right in the face. So hopefully he's okay. But... Another brilliant downing by Jamison Tyon. Is he already down to the 3.8 area right now? Six shutout innings, and then the Yankees' bullpen took over. Now, the the, the, the starter for the Royals also had six-plus shutout innings, so he pitched just as well. And um, But th these are teams that, 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 that the Yankees should be beating relatively easily, but they always give them fits, and especially teams like the Royals, the freaking Orioles. Like... <sighs> I don't know why, but they just do. But the Yankees are showing some resilience. They're showing some persistence in the fight that they didn't show earlier in the season, where they would just this would happen and then they would lose the game. And quite a, and actually, for one, and they had one of the best records in baseball for one run games, a one to two run games. And now they're forty and twenty two, best record in the MLB this year in one to two run games. So, um, good job, Yankees. I mean, way to hold it down, way to come back and keep fighting. He really showed something tonight, at least in my opinion. And again, because this Yankee squad would not have done that a month ago or two. They would have just lost the game. And, you know, it, it really showed me something tonight. I was really proud of this team right across the board. But it, one of the frustrating things is, is leaving guys on base. I mean, with the amount of guys that the Yankees have left on third base this year, they, could, they can open up a damn lemonade stand over there and just feed them refreshments. Because they leave so many guys on third base. They have to get that better. They have to get better at that. And they have to get to the point where they can have all these guys healthy and coming back and playing consistently together. We need a, a bunch of guys to go on a tear at the same time. We have not had that. And, you know, a, a bunch of them came through today. They got Shioka, Tyler Wade had a productive game. Brett Garner came through, but so did Luke Voigt. So a, lot of, a lot of these other guys. But, you know, but the bullpen struggled. The bullpen struggled mightily. Tyon pitching. I think Tyon now is a, probably a number two uh, pitcher in the playoffs for the Yankees, Cole and Tyon, um, and probably Montgomery. I don't know what Kluber is. Kluber is going to have a rehab start, I think, tomorrow. We don't know what to expect from Kluber or even uh, Domingo Herman. So those guys are out in the open. If Luis Hill gets keeps getting some more opportunities and he pitches well, I would not hesitate to you know keep him around September and maybe give him a shot at the playoffs. So, but it depends. Um, you know, he he looks to be more composed than Davey Garcia did last year when he got a shot and kind of stunk up the joint. So, And Hill looks a little bit more composed. Like I said, he's got better stuff, and he's got a big arm, and he's got velocity, So, and he's and he's pretty fiery, So, which is nice to see. Something I haven't seen from Davey. Man, we haven't even seen freaking Davey all season because he's can't even get guys out in AAA. So, but giving these young guys a shot, 
I like it. Hopefully, uh, Luis Severino can come back. And again, I'm of the opinion, I say this a lot, that if you're going to bring him back, put him in the bullpen. Let him be a long relief guy. Three to four innings, just have him throw darts, get dudes out, and get out of there. Because when, generally, when he goes through a, a lineup once, the second time around, he can get hit. And he has these bad innings. He gives up four or five runs and whatnot. And, and that's generally when it happens. Sometimes it happens right in the beginning and he settles down, but it generally happens after a one time through, the rotate, uh, through a lineup. So you can get him to throw three to four just nasty innings of darts. It would be a way of transitioning him back also to the rotation in 2022 instead of throwing him to the Wolves and risking another setback. He's already had one this you know in his rehab assignment, so we don't want to risk another one. And Gio Urshela has, you know, has setback in his rehab, so we need these guys to get back to full health. We need all these guys to come back. Since the All-Star break, 15 Yankees have been put on the IL or COVID IL. That's a lot, and it's only been like three weeks since the All-Star break. So they got to get healthy. they got to get it right, and we need some more consistency. And I, I said this before, too. This side gets hot, this side gets cold, and vice versa. We need these guys to click on all cylinders, fire on all cylinders for a stretch. At some point, ideally late September, early October during the postseason will be wonderful, but we'll see because they have the guys to do it. We just need to put it together. And, you know, and again, good on paper doesn't mean shit if you're not performing. So, <laughs> um, but I liked what I saw from the Yankees tonight. They stayed tough. They hung up. They were resilient, persistent. They fought. They had like the, that, just that eye of the tiger and Luke Voigt again had that chip on his shoulder. And it was, it was just good to see. It was a good to see a hard-fought win. And and being fired up at the end of the game, too, was really good to see. So, well done, Yankees. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on my next video in the morning. So, take a look at that. You won't want to miss it. I think you'll find it interesting. And I want to know what you think on this one and that one. So, talk to you then.